Just three years ago, we watched one of the sport's biggest names ride off into the sunset. A man in which was known to some to be the best ever, and to others, a plain genius that defied all odds in a game that only few can conquer. He has never cheated himself. He always was in condition. He had no off nights. That's why he won every fight. It's one of the reasons. But not because he's one of the best to ever do it, and because he was always prepared over a very long amateur and pro career. Amazing. Holding an incredible record of 50 wins and no losses, and beating the very best along the way, it's no doubt that Floyd Mayweather will go down as one of the greatest fighters in history to enter a boxing ring. Though entering the latter half of his career with a much more precautious fighting style due to injuries and age, we've never seen Floyd fail to leave the ring without showcasing performances that are what's said to be second to none. They can't be mad at me. I've done my job. I never said I was a checkers player. I'm a chess player. I play chess. Every move is calculated. Love him or hate him, Mayweather's raised the bar for all competitors of the game. And after capturing 15 world titles in five different weight classes, the question still lurks amongst the minds of most. Is Floyd Mayweather unbeatable? He's the best of our era right now, but I still think he's not the best of all time, like, you know, the best ever. So as usual, Fight fans, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications button as we take a look at before and after facing Floyd Mayweather. To start with, we take a look back 13 years ago to a super welterweight showdown with six division world champion Oscar De La Hoya. Just what I've learned, he's still the same little brat that uh, I mentioned he was. I mean, it's nothing's new. A bittersweet rivalry that showed plenty of animosity during the buildup, but one that was still yet another step up in weight and task for Mayweather. I'm gonna make it a rough and tough fight come May 5th. Mayweather less. After Delahoya's stardom, Delahoya lusts after Mayweather's status, will we get spontaneous combustion? Though Mayweather, starting in his usual indecisive and cautious manner from the opening bell, a lack of offense caused Oscar to close the distance with somewhat ease. But it wasn't until mid-fight where Floyd's sharp, slick, and quick combinations began to edge him on the scorecards and back into the driver's seat. Floyd landing 20 of 35 in the last round. That's high accuracy. He's been a massacre. A performance that didn't turn out to be Mayweather's most dominating, but one in which led to nothing less than sweet satisfaction on the night. Did you think you won it? I felt I won. I felt I, I landed the hard punches, the, the crisper punches. Every time I would hit him, it would hurt him. And I was pressing the fight, so I mean, you gotta beat the champion. Uh, decisively, and I was just pressed. If I didn't press a fight, there would be no fight. Just six months on, a well-known face of Britain and one who carried an undefeated record, just like Floyd's at the time, awaited his shot in line for the WBC belt. I think he's trying to get up my under my skin this week and wanted me and look in my eyes and see a little bit of fear. I only have I only have one one message: you're pissing into the wind zone. A fight that was painted out by the media to be described as England versus America. Who's checking the bells? Yeah. Let's f***ing have him. Yeah. Hatton's attempt to overpower Floyd in the early rounds proved successful to an extent. But with Floyd's slippery style, frustration, and a cut above the right eye, it had a tough time for the boy. Huge round for Mayweather here in the eighth. And don't forget as well. By the latter rounds, it was apparent that Floyd had taken over at this point. And with consistent counters throughout the fight, it was just a matter of time till the end drew near. This fight is over. Floyd Mayweather has a knockout victory over Ricky Hatton. Before the fight, Floyd knew I could fight. Uh, I certainly know now. I certainly know now he can fight. For as long as I was in the fight, you know, I wanted to knock him out, and that's what led to me downfall in the end. From this point on, and after securing four more incredible wins against the likes of Marquez, Mosley, Ortiz, and Cotto, Team Mayweather faced former lightweight title holder Robert Guerrero, 
in what seemed to be yet another brash affair between two confident Americans. Yeah. This is a real deal, 17 years, this is a real deal. No. Yeah, this is what I You're facing a real one. One of which still undefeated, and the other looking to simply derail the Mayweather Express. You know, all he said got me, got me heated or anything. Because if I get heated, I'm swinging. In the initial first three rounds, Guerrero had worked his way up on the cards due to a much more offensive start, and at times making Floyd look somewhat human. But as always, Floyd's slow start to the fight enabled him to lock down on his opponent's timing and rhythm, to then later reveal what he really had installed. And in our fighter meeting as he lands the left and right hand, Mayweather now teeing off on Guerrero. After effortlessly landing right hands and punches at will, Guerrero was surgically tore apart until the 12th to then experience his first taste of a Money Mayweather loss. You know, there's only one Mayweather, man. Dude, his speed, his hand speed, his foot speed, you know, his unorthodox, just how he changes direction. You know, it, it's, it's, a hard, it's hard to match that. Five months on, and this time facing boxing's biggest upcoming prospect at the time, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Canelo is such a big star, but he's never been on pay-per-view unless he was on my undercard. But he's such a big star. A fight night billed as The One had fans in a complete apprehension of whether they were about to witness a crowning of a new king or the continuing reign of a present one. You know, from the opening bout, go in there and fight smart and uh, not go into his game plan, do my game plan, and have him fight my fight. Will youth and power be served, or will Mayweather's boxing IQ be used to teach another painful lesson in the art of boxing? And just like most had predicted, an obvious gap in experience appeared to be all too much for the Mexican prodigy on the night. And the Mayweather smiles as he goes to work on the body and rips on the top of the stairs. Though Alvarez managed to land the odd punch or two successfully throughout, it was clear that the quick reflexes, footwork, and jab of Mayweather's dictated the fight into somewhat of a one-sided affair. Completely out of answers left the Mexican heavily behind on the scorecards, and not being able to pinpoint Floyd at any part of the fight left behind a mental scar that wasn't going to heal anytime soon. In favor of the winner of the Super Welterweight Championship of the world, Just as simple as the 15 pounds were negated today because I couldn't catch him. And uh, all his punches were just hitting my gloves basically tonight. He's very fast and uh, accurate and uh, more so when he's just trying to, you know, make points. I didn't really feel his punches and weren't really that strong, but he was making points and he's very fast. By now it was Mayweather that led the pack for boxing's welterweight division. And after defeating one of Floyd's toughest opponents in Marcos Maidana, it was clear the May versus Pat clash had to happen sooner rather than later. Well, but are you sitting here trying to say that over the last several years, you believed that Floyd Mayweather was scared of you? Is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A bout that was known to be one of the most anticipated fights of all time, and also one that was also labeled as the potential fight of the century. I tell you, my, my plan this fight is to throw a lot of punches. Uh, angry Manny Pacquiao, aggressiveness. From the first round, it seemed that Pacquiao's come forward approach got the fight off to a quick start. But Floyd's slick movement and quick upper body agility only proved to be a tough time for the Filipino to land anything cleanly. At a big fight like this, fans react to every punch, whether it lands or not. Judge with your eyes, not your ears. Even after a brief moment of adversity in the fourth, Floyd still managed to regain composure, taking the fight back to the Filipino in the later rounds. I think we want to see his total domination by Floyd because he don't want to be close because he feels like it is a close fight. Though Pacquiao proved to be a handful throughout, a safe and composed performance of counterpunching and pot shotting was what got Mayweather safely to the final bell. Manny, what's your impression of this fight? Well, it's. It's a good fight. I thought I won the fight. You thought you won the fight? Why? He didn't do nothing. He always, um, you know. Later that year, a fight with Andre Berto awarded him yet another win. However, this time with an unexpected farewell message to the sport of boxing. 
you said to your dad after the ninth round that you hurt your left hand. What's the problem, and is it a problem? Um, well, it don't really matter if I hurt my left and my right hand. My career is over. But even being retired for nearly two years didn't stop boxing's biggest draw to cash out for one last time. Trust me, I'm gonna stop for like you're all gonna fight. When are you gonna have? You're all gonna eat your wounds. The whole world is gonna eat your wounds. After constant beef over social media and endless speculation throughout the world, the McGregor Mayweather showdown finally came to fruition. This man played a major part in this fight, but all this 26, that's your ass. And with the Irishman entering the professional ring for the first time, it was predicted by most to be somewhat of an impossible assignment to accomplish. I am a prize fighter at the end of the day, and I am the best prize fighter there is. August 26th, I will prove that under this specific rule set, that is actually not a true fight, but I will prove that I am the best. We are gripped as to how this unprecedented clash of the two fisted codes will end. Though it was fair to say McGregor won the early rounds, counterpunching and forcing Floyd back onto the ropes in what seemed surprising at the time but slow strategic starts were nothing new for those who knew Floyd. And as the fight pursued, an obvious plan of action to use McGregor's offense against him started to become more and more obvious as the fight progressed. And he looks like he's struggling with the pace. The legs slightly shaky as well of Conor McGregor. After a few pressuring rounds of letting the Irishman empty his gas tank, a step up in gear had Mayweather start with what appeared to be the beginning of the end. He's composed. He's not that fast, he's not that powerful, but boy, is he composed in there. So he was making me throw when he was patient with his shots. I've got to get him number, respect, fair play to him. There's just a moment where it's like, I can't see the final line and I'm like, I see a big hill and I have this little dip in energy. And he capitalized on that dip. I think 